हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम योर एजुकेटर बुरहानुद्दीन एंड इट्स टाइम टू क्रैम दिस इज द एट वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ क्लास टेन चैप्टर ट्वेल्व इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न लिमिटेशन ऑफ ओम्सलो एंड विथ दैट वील ऑल्सो लर्न दैट वॉट इज ओमिक मटेरियल एंड नॉन ओमिक मटेरियल्स so in my previous video lectures i had covered section 12.1 12.2 12.3 and 12.4 that is ohms law so if you want to watch this videos then click the i button and before starting this video let us do a quick revision of ohms law that what does ohms law state ohms law state that the potential difference v across the ends of the given metallic wire in an electric circuit is directly proportional to the current flowing through it provided its temperature should remains constant so we had seen this in our previous video lecture that ohms law state that v is directly proportional to i and we can rewrite this equation as v is equal to ir where r is resistance we had already seen this in my previous video lecture if you want to watch then click the i button so before seeing limitations first we will see what are ohmic and non ohmic materials so based on ohms law materials are classified into ohmic and non ohmic materials so ohmic materials are one which obeys ohms law and non ohmic material are one which does not obey ohms law example of ohmic materials are metals metals always obeys ohms law that is v is equal to i r or v is directly proportional to i and example of non ohmic materials are led light emitting diode then diodes etc so this was the short classification of ohmic and non ohmic materials now let us see the limitations of ohms law first limitation so ohms law is valid for metallic conductors provided that the temperature and other physical quantity should remains constant so ohms law is valid for the metallic conductor provided that the temperature and other physical quantity of the material should remains constant then only it will obeys ohms law and that material will be known as ohmic material so the graph of the material whose temperature and other physical quantities are constant is linear graph you can see like this this is i and this is v and this graph is for ohmic material now second point if the temperature changes then v versus i graph will be not linear so those materials are known as non ohmic material and in graph for those material will be like this non linear i versus v graph for non ohmic material third point ohms law is not applicable to gaseous conductors and also not applicable to semiconductors like germanium and silicon so ohmic material is not applicable to gaseous conductors as well as not applicable to the semiconductors like germanium and silicon so these materials are also known as non ohmic materials fourth point at high potential the graph of v versus i is non linear so it will also not obey ohms law these are the four limitations of ohms law let us do a short recap first ohms law is valid for the metallic mat conductors provided that the temperature and other physical quantity should remains constant second if the temperature changes then v versus i graph will be not linear third ohms law is not applicable to the gaseous conductors and also not applicable to the semiconductor like germanium and silicon and fourth 
at high potential the graph of v versus i is non-linear. So in next video lecture section 12.5 that is factors on which resistance of a conductor depends will be covered. So stay tuned and stay safe. Thank you. Notes are uploaded on the blogger's page of time to cram. So visit the blogger's page to download the notes and the link of the bloggers is given in the description box. So check the description box, get the link and download the notes. And if you find this video helpful and informative then like it and do share it with your friends and classmates. And yet you had not subscribed to our channel time to cram then subscribe it and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get latest notification and update when new video is uploaded. That's all for today's video lecture. Thank you.